In this video, I'm going to show you one of the better man-beating routes and money plays in Madden 23. It's going to come to us out of the gun tight formation. Um, you can find this formation in a couple different playbooks. Well, the one we're going to talk about today is out of Detroit, but you can find this in um, uh, Washington. And I think it's actually uh, it's actually probably a better formation in Detroit, but um, it's still very effective in Washington. So you can the beauty of Washington is you can mix it really well with the bunch. Um, Detroit does have a good bunch too, but Washington's bunch is, you know, probably the best bunch in the game, if not one of the best bunches in the game. But anyways, like I said, I just want to show you this simple uh, route combination out of gun tight uh, that you can run. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook, please make sure to join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up, and it gets you access to all of my Mad Twenty Three offensive and defensive ebooks. And in addition, that also gets you access to any updates to those ebooks while you're a um, while you're a member, as well as any new ebooks that we will drop. And we're working on a couple of different ebooks to drop this week, so make sure that you're in the Patreon so you can get access to all of that material. All right, so like I said, this play is going to be very effective against man and zone coverages, and the play is slot post out of gun tight. Now this play is really good and it has a lot of different setups it has a lot of different variations um, and things that you can do with it based on the routes that it gives you uh, you don't need hot route master for this play at all um, i would recommend gun tight works really well if you have short and elite on on everybody uh, because they're going to consistently uh, light up and get separation against man to man so with that in mind, slot post, here's the setup. We're going to flat the left wide receiver, so Julio Jones. We're going to slant the slot receiver, Chris Godwin. Then we're going to flat the right receiver, which is Mike Evans. And we are going to in route the running back. So you see here, this is a simple concept that is designed to attack underneath really 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 well okay so our first read is we're always looking to this flat can we throw the flat in that example we actually couldn't but we're looking to these flat routes as quick reads and these flat routes are also going to pull zones out and it's going to open up this little quick throw right here to the running back as you can see right there and like i said in the beginning this is a formation that is really good against man to man and that is no different here so you see the same concept. Now, these flat routes are actually really good against man this year, ironically. Um, if they're not shading underneath, there is a little window where you can throw these with a free form outside. And they will actually, especially if you have set feet lead or pass lead elite, they will actually get separation. So again, if they're going to run man, if they're going to run man and they're not going to shade underneath, then you have these flat routes on both sides that you can throw quick to the flat, okay? So what this means is they basically have to, um, you know, shade underneath. And again, I want to show it to you one more time. This time I'm going to go to a cover zero blitz. And again, I'm pressing, right? If I ran a streak, I would get pressed. So it's a cover zero blitz. Uh, actually, I think I did shade underneath that time. Let me show it to you again. But what's interesting is that these flat routes are, they're not as good as the wheel routes, but they're pretty good, okay? Um, so just something to kind of kind of keep in mind. But anyway, if you look to the right here, you're going to see pass lead outside right. I click on and catch it. And these are just little quick dots that you can have at your disposal with these flat routes. This year in Madden 23, I think the flat route is one of the most, one of the best routes in the game, actually. Now, I want to show you the man coverage. So, if they shade underneath, then you want to look for your slant. As you can see, your slant is wide open. And the other route you want to look for is your tight end. Now, this tight end route is one of the better man beating routes in the game. Uh, it's pretty consistent. Even, even Otten can run this route. You don't really need any anything. If you want to get... 80, um, 85 uh, medium route running, that could be helpful. What you'll see here is he will just get separation every single time. What I love about this play too is the simplicity of the read. Everything's going to basically happen right in my field of vision. So I'm able to read this fairly quickly. I can go, not there, not there, there. You know, 
So what I do is I like to look to both flats first. So I'm going to look left and look right. And then I'm going to be looking over the middle to work my slant post concept against this defense. So let's go over cover two. So you see here again, look quick, quick. I could have hit the flat, but I can also hit my back. And again, this play is, this specific play is just something simple um, that's designed to get easy yardage. Now again, I want to stress the, you know, the running back route is really a key route. Um, but you'll see here, like they're running curl flats, I can throw the quick flats. You know, you just want to be getting the ball out of your hands quick with this play. Uh, and then that, what that's going to do is it's going to force them to basically, you know, play hard flats. And a lot of people already will play hard flats. And if they play hard flats, what you'll see is a slant right about here is going to get really good separation against that coverage. So, again, this is one of my favorite plays in the game. Um, I think this play breaks down coverages really, really well because you have so many quick reads on the play that you know you're going to be consistent for five or seven five to seven yards um with this play is what you're probably looking at unless they you know leave the post open which they really shouldn't um, against zone you can kind of throw this post but it's not as good it's not as good because you don't have a, a streak to clear out the zones so if you wanted to do that you would need something i mean honestly you would you would need like a motion over you know, if you wanted to run a flat route to Evans and then you wanted to do something like this, you need something like this. And now you would be able to throw this post against zone a lot more. Now, we do have setups that teach, you know, how to beat zone out of this at a higher clip than what we're doing right now. But I think if you take these flats and take the underneath, you're going to have a lot of success. <coughs> I want to thank you for watching the video and if you want to get my full uh, gun tight offensive ebook make sure you join our patreon i'm going to put a link to that in the description down below thanks for watching and we hope to see you over at the patreon page